Hi guys, Immortal Bomb here, and today we are going to be playing The Scarecrow. I looked up horror games on the App Store. I have to be quiet again because it's 11:40, 46 p.m. I don't know why I choose to record my videos at this time. Um, but I know for a fact my parents are sleeping. So, The Scarecrow. I. I looked up horror games, I downloaded a couple, most of them were demos, just to see if you guys like them or not, and if I should play them. This isn't a demo, this is just a $1.99 game I found. So, let's try it out. I'm not reading all that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I mean, we don't jump very high. Can you what you can? I see a house over here. So I think the objective of the game is to find crows. Okay, just to pick this up. Um, I don't think the game's gonna be that scary because it's followed by Unity. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm not saying Unity sucks, I'm just saying, like, um, that they're not that scary. I don't think it's a good idea to play a scary game while your parents are sick. Cause like, if you freak out and scream, the music makes me think something I'm okay. How do you open doors though? Do you do all these controls? Like, can you open doors? Can you just walk through them? There's one over here. It's powered by Unity, but like... This is actually kind of creepy. I'll make sure I turn off the ball again. That scared me. Nothing happened. So, um, I'll just go around, like, just gonna stand there thinking I can't do anything. I'll, I'll go around, like, come on, be serial code, I think. And what's up with the music? The music tries to sound scary, but it's not at all. See you tomorrow. Yeah. 